video today is not a versus between these two lenses. It's more of a comparison between the uh, Voigtlander 51.5 Nocton and the Carl Zeiss C-Sonar 51.5. And I already did a video of the Carl Zeiss 51.5, so I'm not going to go through the features of this lens. But uh, they are different price points. This is about $1,200. Uh, this is about maybe six to eight hundred. Uh, keep in mind that this is the LTM, the Leica thread mount. This is not the newer version. That's a different style. Uh, looks like an older style, uh, and not a Leica mount. This is a um, Leica thread mount lens. Uh, so the specs for the Zeiss is six elements in four groups, and the Voigtlander has six elements in five groups. The features of this Voigtlander lens uh, as taken from a B&H photo. The Nocta lens is unusual in the rangefinder field because of the use of modern aspherical lens element, fabrication technology on the rear element. This lens is constructed with two aspherical surfaces and one super low dispersion glass element. This maintains the high level of image quality that rangefinder customers have become used to while keeping a high competitive price point. So today I just want to see uh, the different looks, the different images that come from each lens. And I'm going to decide which lens to keep. Uh, if you're in the same buying position as I am, uh, this video you may find is important in your buying decision. But at the end of the day, I want to compare the two lenses. are from the Voigtlander 51.5 LTM like a thread mount and the Zeiss 51.5 this is the first three is from the uh, Voigtlander and this is at 1.5 f2 and at f4 let's go back to 1.5 the Voigtlander okay it's very smooth it is very sharp f2 becomes sharper Bouquet is still good. F4 is the sh uh, sharpest, but there's some motion blur. Um, bouquet is still smooth. But here's the white liner again at 1.5. Now let's look at these eyes. Here's these eyes, and if you notice, the uh, white balance is a little bit more warm for these eyes. 1.5, F2, and F4. Let's look at 1.5 again. 1.5 isn't as sharp. It's there's a glow around her, but the uh, bokeh is very smooth for the Zeiss 1.5. And this is an F2. It does get sharper. Bokeh is still smooth. And lastly, this is at F4. I want to compare both lenses at 1.5 side by side. As you can see, the Voigtlander is very, very sharp wide open and the uh, Zeiss to the right of the screen, it's somewhat sharp, but then there's like a glow or haze. Uh, that's the characteristic of the lens, um, but that actually uh, makes the Zeiss very, ha have a very smooth transition between sharpness and the bokeh. And the bokeh of the Zeiss actually looks much nicer, uh, much pleasing to the eyes. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to test the lens at 1.5, 2, and f4. Check the uh, bokeh, the autofocus rendering from both lenses. So the first three pictures is from the white lander. This is shot wide open at 1.5. Very sharp lens, wide open at 1.5. Bokeh is really nice. This is at f2 and at f4. And if you notice um, for the Zeiss, now these are the images from the Zeiss lens. This is wide open 1.5. It seems to be warmer. Again, this is the Boy Lander 1.5. And this is the uh, Zeiss. Warmer and the bouquet seems to be very circular, very smooth. There's a very nice fall off from her eyes to the background. Zeiss at F2. 
at Lassity at F4. Taken towards the end of our photo shoot, and I want to get the city lights. I'm going to let you guess which lens is which. One is a Voigtlander 50 and the other is a Zeiss 50. Let's look at the bouquet here. I was a little bit off on the, the second picture on the right hand side. But the left hand side is from the Voigtlander 51.5 and the right hand side is Zeiss. The Zeiss bouquet is really circular, smoother. The Voigtlander is a little bit more sharper and we can see that there's an onion ring effect for it. Again, uh, different lenses, um, they have different characteristics and different ways of uh, rendering the background. It was Rochelle's last photo shoot with us. She's leaving Guam, going off island to San Francisco. So she wanted to try different outfits and wardrobes out. All these pictures you are seeing has been shot with the Voidlander 51.5. In between breaks and uh, when she was getting her makeup done and also the uh, scene where um, she was against the city lights, uh, I was comparing both of the Zeiss and the Voidlander. If money isn't uh, your concern, then get the Zeiss 51.5. Very smooth transition from sharpness to a bouquet. And the bouquet is actually very nice and pleasing to the eyes. If uh, money is a concern and you want to spend about five or six hundred dollars, get the Voidlander 51.5. It's very, very sharp, wide open, and the bouquet is also really smooth. Yes, I was using the older version of the Voidlander, the Leica Paramount, but from research done online, the optical formula is the same from the older version and the newer uh, Leica Mount version. Thank you.